Kylian Mbappe is possibly the most sought-after player on the planet. Best clubs in Europe fight for him tooth and nail. And although PSG secured Kiki's future for three more years, that same move might have created a monster, or just woke up a dormant one. It's time to talk about the dark side of Kylian Mbappe. When he started to steal headlines in France, Kylian Mbappe was still a teenage boy. What he was doing in AS Monaco was nothing short of amazing. But shortly after his move to PSG, the world understood what he was about. What came before was just a trailer. The show was just starting out. The price for his services was big, but Kiki was huge. So he put the world on notice. Broke Liga 1 records left, right, and center. As he was turning into one of the deadliest attacking forces in modern football, his notoriety on the pitch skyrocketed. But other things were rising almost as rapidly as his football qualities. His price tag and his ego. Two things that seem to hunt the Frenchman nowadays. When the world's richest, the most legendary and powerful clubs race each other for you, this might not come as a surprise. What was surprising for millions of football fans was Mbappe's decision to stay in Paris, especially after having shared his admiration and desire to play for Real Madrid numerous times. Not long after, the international football community understood the reasons behind his decision. This was a power play, planned and executed to perfection. The new deal that kept Mbappe in the French capital made him one of the highest paid footballers ever. But that wasn't even half of the story. It could never be, especially when the names of presidents from two different countries were being dropped regarding the contract extension. Mbappe had reportedly gained some cool perks along the way. No, not a state-of-the-art yacht, mansion, or anything like that. What was promised was a near total control of football operations, ranging from determining key roles on the pitch <clears throat> like penalty takers, to the selection of a coach or even a sporting director. You can think of it as like a senior consultant who also happens to play as a forward. Rumor has it that for him to change the Ici C'est Paris sign in Parc de France to Ici C'est Kiki is contractually possible. <laughs> Obviously, don't quote us on that. We're just a few months into his new and extremely well-negotiated contract. But that limited time was enough to show the world a complex web of intrigue that seemed to captivate the PSG dressing room. Soccer Stories fans are already in the know of the notorious Penalty Gate scandal, so we're not going to get into the details of the affair. Same with the way Mbappe bumped into or deliberately shoved Leo Messi, depending on where you look at it. In case you somehow missed it though, Wayne Rooney, a man who knew a few things about power play and ego, had this to say about the incident. A 22-23 year old player throwing a shoulder at Messi? I have never seen a bigger ego than this in my life. Somebody remind Mbappe that at 22 years old, Messi had four Ballon d'Ors. It's not difficult to see that all these little pieces of bizarre behavior add up. And in the big picture, they reveal a star having a hard time coping with superstars. Teammates that are, well, there's no other way to put it, way bigger than himself. Although coach Christophe Gautier denies any rumor talking about a presiding locker room dispute between the trio, there seems to be no end to the reports coming the other way. And they go as far as Mbappe deciding the future of his once best pal, now rival star Neymar. You know how the saying goes, power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. We let you be the judge if this is an example of the old proverb in action. Self-doubt can make someone eat his heart out. And for many people, the young Frenchman has been going through a similar situation. His contract says he's the best to ever play for the Red and Blues. But with Leo Messi and Neymar Jr. by your side, there's just no way that claim won't be up for a debate. As the Frenchman has declared his interest to win the Ballon d'Or multiple times, while calling anyone a hypocrite who says it's not that big of a deal, it's just logical for him to feel the need to compete against not one, but two natural candidates of the award. This is probably the reason why a single penalty is worth all the fuss. Or it's normal for him to get frustrated when a teammate decides to pass to Messi instead of him. Because Mbappe has a burning desire to be the best, and he's honest enough not to hide it. Then again, maybe he'd become even sharper if he can manage to grind down this dark side of himself. Luckily for Mbappe and for all us football fans, the Frenchman's best is yet to come, on and off the pitch. And if he ever comes to terms with his current place in the world, which is not too shabby by the way, all else will go better and faster. So what do you think about the way Mbappe behaves himself? Do you think it was a mistake for him to stay at PSG alongside Messi and Ney? If you want more drama about the French superstar, check out this video on 10 football stars who have destroyed Kylian Mbappe. 
Thanks for watching.